Hi everybody, so we're I'm in I'm into this amazing sort of uh tunnel. Uh it's amazing for a very good reason, but I will tell you about that in a minute. Let's keep going. So here we are, so this is a beautiful service tunnel. And it's uh really cool. And as you can see you've got what would have been where all the cabling was and obviously as they rubbed it out it's got this sort of tarry sort of substance and it's pretty similar to the other videos that are uh, on my channel it's not a very long tunnel and uh, it's really cool though so we're just going to keep looking you've got people have been uh, that's where graffiti it is I think, I can't remember that. Taffy's watching Paddy. Nice. There you go. And then, this is where it starts changing. Now, did you notice this? So, what this is would have been a tram sort of bay. And uh, you can see. Where the tram the trams would have come in and then what they've done is they've carried it on to create a service tunnel for the cabling and the wires they here so it's a very unique sort of uh, service tunnel and because uh, it's really it's really rare it's definitely nothing like this before so uh, yeah and then we'll get up to the other end There you go. How cool is that? You can see this beautiful, this beautiful brickwork from where these trams would have stayed, and you can, it's beautiful today. Beautiful day out. Um, the lighting's not great because you've got lighting behind me and you've got lighting in front. So this torch is doing a great job, but it's. Probably could do a better job in other circumstances, but amazing. So you can imagine these trams coming down here, and then as they're sort of being parked up where all the other tram tunnels are around here, and then uh, what they've cleverly done is to get through as quick as possible. They've created this service tunnel here. It's absolutely amazing. And this tar stuff, try not to tread on it ground is very sort of spongy and dusty and that's the entrance there that's where they would have come in from and behind there's all these other service tunnels or tram tunnels sorry and then you can see and all those other tram tunnels were used as air raid shelters again won't give away location but come on you pretty much know where I am anyway don't put it down in the comments just you know if you know it keep it to yourself It'll be fun because it's dangerous and uh, yeah There you go. Look at that. Definitely is a service tunnel that's definitely one of these ones that's brilliant in its own sort of uniqueness because it is a half and half. There you go. Look at that. I love that. You have this step, you see, that you sort of drop down into. And that step is just before the, the tram tunnel or the tram bay, I think. Uh, stops. You can see actually where the brickwork pretty much stops. And then what they've done is they've filled that extra bit in and then created this service tunnel with obviously the modern modern workings of it. So yeah. That's mental, wasn't it? Look at that. Spend so much time down here, but like I say, it's not it's not the most greatest one you're ever going to see. Like I said, but it's still cool. That's the most important thing. You can see where this is all the the trashed end, which at one point would have been fully accessible, as I well know. It's one of these ones that I was came down here when I was a kid. Again, you probably have to look at the other videos in the link below. Should we just walk one more time? Let's just do it, come on. Let's 
got one more time through. You can see it should be KM10. Yeah, which is, you can see again, it's this typical sort of concrete. They've put these uh, huge bolts in. Look at that. And this sort of. <laughs> sort of a conveyor it's not really but it's sort of might as well be of a these where these pipes would have gone and you can still see where the wrapping for the casing for some of them was I mean I'm not you know I confess in my ignorance that I don't know a whole load about it but um, I know enough and uh, this one was just one of the final ones off the sort of instant vicinity that I wanted to do and then I'm going to hopefully do a very special video on the massive, well it is massive really, the sort of continuation of the big huge area shelter that's literally around here. Um, but these were really more of part of an area shelter complex or the rest of these tram tunnels but yeah what an incredible, incredible bit of history that will probably at some point soon be no longer accessible. There you go. Like I said, it's not the biggest one, but it's very cool. Look at that. Right, let's head back. Very quiet. So cool. <laughs> but yeah, this is very special. It's special for all the right reasons. This beautiful divide of where old meets new, or newer. Isn't that amazing history? We need to see this sort of two phased part of history that gets reused. Isn't that incredible? Amazing. Right, let's make our way out, I think. You can. <laughs> Helmet. Not really much down here, just a lot of trash, really, which is what you'd probably expect. That's it. Brilliant. I love it. Like I said, not the biggest tunnel in the world ever, but still a very special one. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so. So I depart. No more words of Phoenix history. Because history matters, and I'll see y'all very soon. Goodbye for now. Take care. Bye. Kapow.